pictures we have here just into our newsroom showing the derailed trains near 96th and Broadway. First responders evacuated hundreds of people from one of the trains. The other train was empty. We have live team coverage tonight of the collision, derailment, and the ripple effect for commuters all across the city. We begin with the latest from the scene. City of Doug Williams is live near 96th and Broadway. Doug. Dick and Dana, as you can see and hear, it's still an active scene. There was uh, just moments ago uh, still a fire truck parked behind us that has since moved. But the entrance uh, to the subway station behind me has been very active as emergency uh, and rescue crews continue to make their way down in what will be an effort that uh, will take hours and into the evening. And some of the uh, video that we've gotten into our newsroom, the cell phone video of passengers, because this was such a shock moment that's been described to us as a jolt. Most of the video that's come into our newsroom is of the moments uh, the rescue efforts were happening and um, we've basically had described to us over a half hour of terror waiting for the arrival of some of those rescue crews. Uh, they were greeted with applause by many of the passengers on these very crowded train cars. Here's one passenger named Evelyn. want to play one of her answers uh, earlier in an interview talking about about what she saw and witnessed. When the trains collided, everyone was doing their own thing like usual. Everyone's on their phone. I was on my phone listening to music with my AirPods on. Um, and like I said, I like my music pretty loud. Um, but even through that, through noise cancellation and everything, you heard how loud we crashed into the other train. It was really loud that um, the other train literally got destroyed. Like the the whole floor was just crunched up together. The seats were even they didn't even look like seats no more. The poles were all bent. It was just really bad. Um, and um, smoke started coming inside the carts. Like it was it smelled a lot like gas, and it was really bad. Everyone was panicking because like it's gas. Um, there's lots of us in there. People started getting claustrophobic. People dropped everything in the jolts. Um, I hit my head against the window. And Dick and Dana, just since we've been listening to Evelyn's answer just now, uh, MTA President Jenna Lieber made his way behind us and down into the uh, subway station. So again, uh, MTA officials continue to arrive. And we've seen uh, the Office of Emergency Management posted a few pictures on social media that show really the lean of what was the abandoned one train that had been vandalized, that ran into the crowded one train, the passenger train. and. That was something Evelyn described. They had to walk through, when they were evacuated, they had to walk through the train cars of that evacuated train. And uh, she described having to hold on just to walk through those abandoned train cars. It was so badly damaged, she said, we didn't even recognize the subway poles. Uh, the seats didn't look like seats. So that was the car that took the majority of the damage. And luckily, uh, those train cars had been abandoned again. It was a service train, but really it was just a uh, decommissioned one train that had been vandalized. The other one was full of passengers on a crowded Thursday afternoon. Uh, for now, we're live here in the Upper West Side. Doug Williams, CBS 2 News. All right, Doug, thanks very much.